everyone seemed really excited uh, about the game. I think it's a great tradition. So glad to see that it's made its way back um, this year. It, it sounded like the, both the Tigers and the Mud Hens really enjoyed the opportunity. They just spent all this time together at spring trading. Now they get to face off a little bit more before they uh, go their separate ways a bit. But um, obviously both very talented teams and uh, great atmosphere to be had here. The Mud Hens and the Tigers have a great relationship in my years of covering the team. It, it seems as though that transition, as you mentioned, isn't a pretty easy one. What I think is really nice is the fact that Toledo and Detroit are proximity-wise also very close. So we're talking, you get a phone call in an hour, you can be up to Detroit. Um, all the Tigers players are so nice. They've been there. They know what it's like to get their number called. They know what it's like to have spent maybe a couple, uh, a year or a couple games even with the Mud Hens and make their way up. So I, I definitely think it's a process that everyone's just happy to make it as easy as possible. One of the things that we were really excited about showing in this episode is really portraying the Tigers players through the eyes of the Mud Hens, giving you a unique perspective of the guys that you wouldn't normally get um, from sitting in the stands at Comerica or whatever it might be. So we hope you enjoy that perspective of the team. You can check out Tigers Weekly, all about Tigers at the Mud Hens on April the 20th on Fox Sports Detroit. It'll have re-airs throughout the rest of the season, and we really hope everyone will check it out.